This is going to be my most controversial take ever, and I'm hoping that I can deliver it as delicately as possible. And this video is going to be for parents who are sending their kids to college in the next year or two years or so. Let's do it. Hi, my name is Nikkei Na Nike, and I teach you everything about financial literacy and how to be smart with your money. Live this strongly. That if your child is heading to college and you don't sit them down, he or shit down, and have a conversation, a very tough conversation about the kind of major they need to major in in college, you are doing your child a disservice and it borders almost on bad parenting. Let me explain. In this economy, in this economy, how bad things are, college in general is a scam unless you're getting a high earning degree such as anything in stem you know science technology finance medicine things like that if you don't sit them down and have that conversation you're doing them a disservice if your child comes to you and says mommy daddy i want to go to college and i want to go to college for something like music art and i'm going to use myself as well psych psychology writing things of of that nature and you don't have the conversation with them that life is hard enough as it is but life is even harder if you go to college and collect a bunch of student loans for something you cannot utilize to make a lot of money yes i get it money isn't everything but if you don't have that tough conversation with them almost almost an ultimatum like if you're going to college and you don't major in these particular majors and you choose this once, instead, you have to pay for your own college yourself. Something of sorts. And I'll give you an example. My parents wanted me to go to law school. I chose not to do it. I studied psychology and I wanted to be a writer. My mother, who at the time I thought was horrible to do to me, but now in retrospect, it's the best thing she ever did to me, gave me an ultimatum. You go to law or you get cut off and I got cut off but because I got cut off I had such a drive to prove them wrong as a writer as a blogger as an influencer and I became successful because of the consequence of not going to law school life is hard life is so difficult as it is and letting your child go to college to study something I have a friend who has two doctorate degrees in things she can never use. Things she can never use. To let your child study something they can never use to have a financially independent life, a financially stability life, is bad parenting to a certain degree. Because for me, the, the test of good parenting, if I and I'm not a parent, but if I succeed as a parent, is that my child never comes home and asks for money past the age of past a certain age 25 maybe eight because if your child is still coming to you and asking for money past a certain age you have to look in the mirror as a parent like if you have a 40 year old son or daughter who's asking you for money you have to look at yourself and say where did i go wrong and i think most parents go wrong at that pivotal time in that child's life 16 17 18 not having that conversation with them like what do you want to do with your life because in lieu of going to college and collecting a bunch of student loans and getting a master's degree, doctorate degree in something not that you can't use to make money, to make sustainable money, you can go to trade school. You can get skill set. For example, this is the first time in my life I'm learning how to edit videos. I didn't go to school for it. I just literally paid someone $200 to just teach me and that was it and I learned. There is almost nothing you cannot learn from YouTube or from going to trade school or just learning different skill set. But to let your child go to school for four years, six years, eight years, and still have to struggle after that, as a parent, you must ask yourself, where did I go wrong? I wanna give you guys two examples. When I hosted the event for the buyer's homes, there was five of us who hosted it, I met a young, gentleman named Diago and he ex expressed to me that there were five of them they're Mexican family immigrants five of them and their parents m gave each person based on their personality trait when they were young a major to major in college 
they have five kids, two studied finance, three studied engineering. They're all successful. All successful, five children. Imagine having five kids and they all got it right. Another example, another example I always tell you guys about is my photographer. She's dear to my heart. Her parents have six children, six, and they all got it right. They're all successful because the father sat each one of them down before they leave the house. Here's a plan for your life. Follow it. Because as a parent, your job is to break generational poverty. And your job, I think, as a parent is to make sure that your kids are better than you. They live a better life than you. That is your job as a parent. That is, at least, that's how I see it. I will hope that my child is way more successful than I am. And it's my job to set them on that path to become successful. We don't have the luxury anymore in this country, in this economy, to let our kids just pick any major. We don't have that luxury. The economy is that bad. You have to tell your kids to go to school for something they can use to make a high earning income. 